Good evening, Lake Orion. Well, we're back this week. I'm your host, and I am a Termina. You. I'm in the Western Conference Finals, and you're not. You yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Yes, indeed. This is Between Terminas here on ONTV. I am your host, Anthony Terminas, and I am joined by... And they spelled your name wrong. ...my co-hosts, Sammy and Ian. I'm in the Western Conference Final, and you're not. You're a broken record, and I need to turn you off. I am <laughs> not. You are not. I am not a broken record. How many times has he said that pre-show? Tell Multiple. me. Multiple? Multiple. Multiples of Speaking of that, 90. let's talk about the NHL Western oh, wow. Conference and the Eastern Conference. Sammy, have at it. Yes, yes, yes. The Western Conference Finals. Dallas beat the Seattle Kraken in uh. seven. You know, I mean, you got to love it with the Dallas Stars. I mean, like, I think it's time for everybody, uh, everybody here in BT Nation to learn the words of Pantera. You know, we go, Dallas, Stars, Dallas. Stars! Pantera. Dallas! Yes. Stars! Dallas! Yes. Stars! We get Woo! the stars. Yep, and I know, and and a special shout out to the late greats of Pantera, Dallas Star, Dallas Star Nation, Western Conference Final, baby. You know, for the record, the Avalanche should be in the Western Conference Finals, not the Dallas Stars. Hey, you're here, I'm something to crack it. Shush. So, but we all know deep down that I have to play the Vegas Golden Knights, and... You're done. I am not done. You're done. I am not done. And I know how good Vegas is, but the last time I played Vegas in the playoffs, I went five games. And I have a goalie by the name of Jake Ottinger, who has been very good. I have Miro Heskinen. I have the best line in hockey. And Jason Roberson, Rupe Bay Hinton, Joe Pavalski. I still have Tyler Benn and Jamie Sagan. Uh, Jamie Benn and Tyler Sagan. I mean, like, you're, you look, you look fascinating. You are happy, and I'm telling you right now, Stars are going to meet the Golden Knights in six games. I can't say anything. Care to place a wager? With what? I don't have any Golden Knights gear. Hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. I Maybe can't we can think say about anything. that. Uh, a little bet. What do you think about the Eastern Conference? I have a Golden Knights hat. hat. Uh, I hate the Knights. I will, I will run that thing over. What do you think about the Eastern Conference final? Florida Panthers. My goodness, Ian. I mean, like, who would ever think? But then again, Florida was, Florida was the president was the president of Trophy Champions last year. So, but I, it, it kind of tells you, forty three points. Florida was forty three points better than Boston. Uh, Boston well, was, Boston was forty three. I apologize. Points better but than Florida. Game six kind of really told me the story of that series when. Boston had, they scored a shorthanded goal, Florida answered in the power play, then they took the lead, tied it up, and then and they took the lead and scored an empty netter. The game, and then Boston made a real questionable change in game seven. Look what happened there. And then Florida scored late, forced overtime, and then beat Boston. I mean, that's how crazy the NHL playoffs What about was. Toronto? Boo. Toronto is Boo. the biggest choke job in sports. They have been, and they will continue to be. The Toronto, the Maple Leafs are like the New York Knicks Ooh. of the NBA. They're the New York Knicks because okay. you, people always talk about how good the Toronto Maple Leafs are. And you look at the situation, how it is, the Maple Leafs always find a way to choke when it's a tough situation. I mean, they finally overcame a playoff series, knocked off Tampa Bay, Apologies to Eric Jennings and Nicole Renault. Um, but, but, Brandon cares. Mm -hmm. but at the end of the day here, Toronto finds a way to choke, and they found a way, losing the first three games of that series, they have to barely survive Florida in game four, and then they got absolutely devoured by Florida in game five. So Florida 
has been one of my biggest surprises. Carolina, you kind of expected. Who knows what they could have happened there. I mean, like, obviously, New York and New Jersey, the Rangers in the Devil Series, that game was crazy. They I went 7-2. My, too. I, w- I asked myself that question every time if it were the Rangers that took on the Hurricanes. You know what I mean? I think New York would have eliminated Carolina, but give Bro- Coach Ron Brindamore a lot of credit what he's done at Carolina. Um, of course, leading, leading the Hurricanes to the 2006 Stanley Cup Championship when he was a player. Now he's doing it as a head coach. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see how um, this series is going to be. I mean, I'm looking forward to that series between Florida and Carolina. It wouldn't surprise me. I think the Rats are back. I think the Rat Pack is back. Yeah. I'm taking the Rat Pack. Six games. So you're over, going Dallas. The jerks. You're going Dallas, Carol. You're going Dallas and Dallas, Florida, Florida Stanley Florida. Cup final. Wouldn't that be lovely? No. Why? Mm. The coach. I mean, the NHL. They, look at the, look at the teams right now who are still in the playoffs. You got a team from Nevada, team from Texas, team from North Carolina, and a team from Florida. You know what I mean? All commencing in the Stanley Cup and the Stanley Cup playoffs. You know? So no teams from Michigan, New York, Massachusetts. No teams north of no Minnesota. teams north of Nevada. Minnesota deserves what they got. You know why? Because the Minnesota Wild is nothing more than a bunch of ponies. I agree with you. They, I mean, they I should, they should be. They should I be, agree with you there. That's rare. Yeah, Minnesota. The Minnesota Wild. They need what they need to do is they the, they need to go to like a little. I don't know if there's anything like that. I think Min- the Minnesota Wild and St. Louis Blues need to go off in the sunset and they just need to, their programs need to disintegrate. That'd be great. Of course that'd be great. I think we agree on something. Maybe Texas could use another team. No, we're not thinking about Houston. How about hmm. San Antonio? No. Hmm. How about El Paso? No. The El Paso... You want an expansion Texas. franchise? Dallas... Texas. We're seeing the price of expansion programs already. Look at the Vegas Golden Knights of Seattle Kraken. Jesus, the expansion draft. Don't get me started with that. Think about Vegas, though. I mean, they they kicked off, the NHL kicked off sports in Vegas, really. Home teams, you know? Then Stars you the and the Raiders Golden Knights have been there. a rivalry, yeah. Stars and the Golden Knights have been a rivalry. The A's are moving to Vegas. A's are moving to Vegas because Oakland. Raiders? The Raiders, the Raiders are already there, yeah. And you can be assured they'll get a b-ball team soon. LeBron James. What about, you know who deserves an NBA team? Honestly, Seattle. They the super, the return the of the Sonics. Sonics. Yes. They I think to, the return of the Supersonics would be great. They you think, should. Yeah, they need to. I think the, I think it'll be perfect. You know, you think about it. We I'd got, like to see Gary Payton Sr. return to the love We love the Cleveland Browns. Remember that when they came back from... And they came back to the expansion team. Yeah. And then now I think the Seattle Supersonics will be a perfect scenario here. You know, bring them back. You know what I mean? Could you just imagine? Vegas and Seattle in the NBA. Could, could you ever imagine if, no, could you ever imagine if you Seattle played East. Oklahoma City? That'd be something. What do you think? Do you think, that, yeah, think that'd be bad blow there? Oh, a little bit. Yeah. Any final thoughts? Fans. Hey, Western Conference Finals, Western Conference Finals, Should final, be over maybe? soon? It will not be over soon. Quick four games? Nope. Vegas. Stars and six. Stars and six. You're playing Pantera. Everybody's happy. I'm playing Viva Las Vegas by Elvis all the way. We'll be right no. back. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Orion Township invites you to visit the Orion Center on Saturday, June 3rd from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. to shop for bargains at the Community Garage Sale. Why spend the day driving around when you can visit dozens of vendors in the parking lot offering a wide variety of items? While that's going on outside, the Antique Toy and Comic Expo will be taking place inside the Orient Center with vendors offering collectibles, toys, antiques, comic books, and more at great prices. From 11 a.m. to 1 p.m., Shred It will be on the grounds to shred documents. There is so much going on at the Orient Center on June 3rd, and parking at admission is free. For more information, you can call 248 391 extension 3500, or visit orionparks.com. Welcome back to Between Tiraminas here on ONTV. I am your host, Anthony Tiramina, and my name is spelled correctly, and we still have producer problems. Uh, What's up with that? Uh, okay, so, okay, let's did you talk pay, about- Did you pay them this week? Oh, heavens to Betsy's, no, I heard you did. Then I didn't. 
That's what I heard I you know, did. No, you're the money man. I heard Pat Ronan did. Oh, maybe it's checks yeah, maybe, slow yeah. from out yeah. west. <laughs> yeah. mm, that yeah. could be the problem. Yeah, that could be the problem. <laughs> or we play Bob Bridges. Well, that would work. For, yeah, that would you. work too. Thank you. Uh, let's talk about a serious situation that's unfolded in the NBA that's kind of overshadowed the, the NBA playoffs a little bit. Even the Pistons though Pistons will never return to the playoffs again. Yeah, that's true. Uh, well, no, I mean we'll see what happens. Other than we've got the Lakers and the um, Nuggets, and we've got the um, Celtics and Heat. So, I mean, those are two definitely great series that's going to happen, and um, we'll see how it goes from there. But something that's overridden a little bit is the situation with the Memphis Grizzlies' Ja Morant. Um, you guys were aware of what happened two months ago. Um, he, had, um, he, had, he had once again showing off a gun, which, you know, you got to go with the NBA – protocol, the NBA rules, which you, you're not allowed to have weapons. Um, he did apologize to the league off, but then we see him with his best friend, Devontae Pack, and um, basically he's once again showing off a gun on Instagram, and um, obviously shame on me once, shame, you know, you fool me once, you know, you fool me twice, shame on me. Um, what's your thoughts on that? He never, he didn't learn his lesson. He hasn't learned his lesson. I like what Memphis did, suspending him indefinitely from all team activities. Okay? This, I mean, you really look at, people look at, of course, this situation. You're supposed to be a role model for, for children. You're supposed to be a role model for kids. And now you're showing that off on your Instagram? I, I like what Memphis did. They suspended him indefinitely. I mean... I think he needs to rethink his life a little bit because people who he hangs out with, because bottom line is, when you look at the situation it is, he's ruining his career. You know, this is the second time. This is the second time, you know? You know, he's gotta, if he's gotta make a life change, you know what I mean? He has to do it. Because if not, then Memphis is gonna get rid of him it doesn't matter if he's a star player, you know. What do you want as a character player on your team? I mean, yeah, he's talented. But character players, they make the team what is. Ian, what do you think? I think it's a problem with a lot of athletes. Especially they, younger athletes. Well, they just feel almost invincible. They feel like they can do what they want and there are no repercussions. And when you start mixing weapons or alcohol or things like that with that attitude, it, it, can, it can end in a sad result, which doesn't need to happen because, as you mentioned, he's very talented. Skill-wise, he might be a top, you know, he's probably a top five player in the league. If he would focus more on his craft, beating the Lakers, didn't they lose the Lakers? Yes, yes. they lost the Lakers. You know, uh, come on. And they have people he's, he's on John Morant supporters on unfairly blaming LeBron James for this. I mean, that's unfair. For, what? for eliminating the Grizzlies, forcing him to go back into the street life. That's not LeBron's fault, not at all. No. The Lakers were the better team than the Grizzlies that series. Yes, they I'm were. I'm going to be honest with you. Yes, they were. I mean, the Lakers, we know, has been just down in the dumps the last few years. And then this year, obviously, they're starting to get back in the thick of it. Obviously, the trades have helped them. Um, LeBron and, and, and um, Anthony, Anthony Davis. Davis. Yeah, but back to J John Morant. I mean, like, I'm just saying to you is this guy's got to turn his life around because if he doesn't, he keeps going on this path. You look at you look at athletes that have taken that wrong path and, you know, they, you know, and they don't have a career. They don't anymore. have a career anymore. You know what I mean? And I think that's the path where I think, unfortunately, I see John Morant going is he's going down a path, you know, that's really dangerous and... It's, you know? it's funny that he blames or they throw blame at LeBron when really they should be admiring the man. Because mm -hmm. I'm not a huge LeBron James fan. But he's, I've called him out on, on BT numerous sure. times. Yeah, but he's 40 years old. Mm -hmm. He's never had an off-the-court issue. Mm -hmm. He might be conceited. He's been a great dad. He's been a tremendous dad. Been no a great issues father. with his wife. Right. Children, he's opened an academy. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's yes. been a great father. He's been a he's great bounced father. Around he can, teams. He's around teams. He's... You know, mm -hmm. arrogant, fine. But, I mean, for him to be in the league and to be at the top of the spotlight, all eyes on him at all times, 
and he's never slipped up. And, and you know, also that's got to be admired. Also, you got to give his, um, he also got to give his, his friends a lot of credit too. I mean, at the same time, you know. Well, he surrounded himself, he with, surrounded the right himself with the right people. He surrounded himself with the right people. I mean, he's got a lot of childhood friends that have, that have, have really helped him and vice versa. And um, you're not seeing that with John Morant. I mean, you're definitely, you know, Devontae Pack, um, definitely, you have to wonder with him, is he really riding off of John Moran? Is he really being a true friend? Can he change so that John Moran can change? It, that is a very fair question to ask. I think it only has to do with John Moran because look at a similar situation with Patrick Mahomes and his brother. Mm -hmm. His brother is a hanger on. Look at me. I'm really only popular because I have a brother who's super famous. And now he's in trouble with the law. But Patrick Mahomes has been another guy like LeBron, top of the league, the basically undisputed MVP, and never has had an issue. He's made home base in KC. He's got a wife, I think two children. I mean, it, it depends on, it's up to Ja. He's, got, he, he's making the money. He's the guy mm -hmm. that has to answer to the reporters. He's the guy who has to perform. So he needs to get his circle in, in shape too. That's I agree with you. I agree with you one hundred percent because Ja has to be the one that has to get his act in order. He's got to get his life in order because if he doesn't takes that long, takes that downward path, you know what's going to happen. We've seen this happen many times with athletes before. Um, Is you know, he going to pull to get his into crew street up? Life. Yeah, he can't well, do that. He can pull his crew up, or they can let him pull him down. Mm -hmm. I mean, basically, you're, you're looking at the the street life is you know and i can't and i can't speak about because I, i've never been raised in the streets you know um they don't want they don't want you know basically you to be a street person if, if you're succeeding succeeding great you know they don't want you to you know go down to you know that level they want you to succeed there's some people that that pull you some. in, though. There's some, yes, that make but you at focus the same time, things, you know. I would say, for the most the majority. part, people want you to get out yeah, of that. Yeah, they want you to get out of do that. better. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so it's like, you know, it, it looks like from the videos, it looked like that he, he's kind of wanting credibility as a street person, and he shouldn't be that way. He's but he's a star player. Why would you want that life? That should be the ultimate credibility That's to get past that. Yes. And to make I know it to he's the 23 top. years old. He's got a lot to learn. He's young. He's very young. He's got a lot to learn. And but I think still, that's I mean, like problem. now this is strike two now. Yeah. You know, you think about one more. If you give him one more chance, you know, does Memphis give him one more chance? I don't I know. I mean, he's probably going to get a big time suspension before the start of the NBA season. He, he'll probably be out quite a while. Yes. And if that doesn't wake him up. I mean, if you're Memphis, you have to put up with it for a little while. But again, if he serves a half-year suspension or something, and or he's not back till the new year, you know, 2024, and you that doesn't him. wake him up, I you mean, caught him? I, it, he'll. It doesn't sound good, but he'll probably play himself. You you might not even have to worry about because he's gonna slip up, or he's gonna get the message. He's going to focus on his career mm -hmm. and himself, and he's going to be great. He's going to utilize his He's a very his intelligent person. He, I mean, what I've heard. when very he was with Wichita State, he, I mean, he was, you know, mm -hmm. he's very, humble. He's a very intelligent person, and I believe, you know, it's going to be up to him. Is he going to want to get the help that he needs? Is he going to want to, who you know, I mean, it might be knows? something small where he just has to stay tunnel vision, you know, stay focused. Yeah. I mean, definitely, I mean... It, it really sounds like that his his parents, you know, especially, you know, I feel like that his parents have a role to play in this, not just um, not just call him if he if they get in trouble or anything like that. It's a situation where parents have to be parents and right. um, not ha be their friend, you right. know. And I think oh, that yeah. this is kind of one of those situations where you've got to be a parent in that situation if you're John Moran's parents, I agree. you know. And if you're if you're Devonte Pack. You kind of are, you kind of, you know, you have a choice in a way. You kind of, you can either stick and support Ja. 
Or get out of the way. Or get out of the way. I mean, it's pretty much, you know, something that, it's something that, you know, that, honestly, I'd like to see Ja Morant change. Yeah. And I'd also like to see Devontae Pack go with him. Right. But if he can't, then there's not going to be there's not going to be a choice, you know, because obviously they've been best friends since their their youth days, and mm -hmm. um, you know it's one of those things where you know if you can go down a path of change, I'd rather you go down that path of change with someone that you love and care for. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can use the, I could, I mean, I can use several analogies, several examples, um, where you know it's better to go through a change like that with someone that you care and love rather than go through it by yourself, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And I think that John Morant and also Devontae Pack, for that matter, have has an opportunity to do that, you know? Amen. So, oh, man. so see we'll see what happens. We will we will monitor it. And monitor it. Keep an eye on it. You guys got any final thoughts? I hope he... I, I, hope he I changes. Like, I, I mean, man. He changes. The NBA needs good young players, so hopefully he can get it mm -hmm. together. Yeah. We'll be right back on Between Terminus on ON TV. Runners and walkers of all ages are invited to come out to the 2023 Dragon Dash 5K on Sunday, May 21st. Check in opens at 7 30 a.m., with the race starting promptly at 9 a.m. The Dragon Dash begins and ends at the Orient Center, with participants heading out on the scenic Pollyann Trail toward Civic Center Park and back again. All participants will receive a medal as they cross the finish line. For more information, call 248-391-0304, extension 3500, or visit orionparks.com. Welcome back to Between Terminus here on ONTV. Gentlemen, how are we doing? Pretty good. Yeah, hanging in there. Ready to loosen it back up again. So let's talk tigers. Let's talk. Tigers. Tigers have been winning lately. They ain't your center, and you know it. So? They're, they're going to go back to losing again, and you're going to be happy again. All right. They lost the series against Seattle. They did. Seattle's they're going to lose. They're going to lose Seattle's again. Good. They're going to lose again. You just no. watch. Yes. No. They're a day tier center. All right. Let me ask you a question. What's it going to take record-wise, performance-wise, for, for the Tigers? 20 to games over 500. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's all. Blood. 20 games over 500. They're not the effing Dodgers. <laughs> They're 20 games over 500. And you know it. I know it. Bob Bridges knows it. Eric Jennings knows it. Wow. For them to get out of that daycare center status. All right. So basically, unless they are the 84 Tigers, you're not going to follow or care. <laughs> yep. You know you can make the playoffs 10 games over 500? <laughs> That's true. Yeah, true. So you're not going to care? They're in the playoffs. You're going to say... Ten games short. Too bad. Too bad. They need to get twenty games. You just watch. What if they win the World Series? You aren't aware that Sammy holds you personally responsible for how the Tigers lost the World Series because you wore a kitty cat costume. How does that negatively affect the team? A lot. How? It affects it a lot. lot. You put a curse you on. Put a curse you on. put a curse on the Tigers. You did. You did. You did. They were already you down. And your, you I and your, too. You and your Catman suit. He's got a point. They were already down 0-2. Oh, you and your Catman suit was the reason why they lost. He and then they became job. a daycare center. I did my job. You did not do your job. I did my job. You did not do your job. I put on a spandex tiger suit. <laughs> you did not do the your job. Detroit, rallied the troops. <laughs> then they win. Of course they did. That's why I can't hit. I can't pitch. <laughs> yes, you can. I can support the team. You can't support the team. And I did, and I do. You did not. So are we seeing You're any not invited to the parade. <laughs> oh. Are we seeing any more paper bags in the Lions? No. No, I think they're winning 12 what, what, games. What do they got to be, 15 and 2 for you to give a darn? I think uh, they're winning 12 games. You watch your muff. All right, all right. What do the end think? I think eleven is the is the barest of minimums. They do have we both win. do we think they win the North? I I don't know. Minnesota? Uh, on paper they should. Minnesota should paper. scare you. They Minnesota don't. should scare you. They don't scare Why? me one bit. Why? They're getting old. 
Minnesota. They were, they were a paper tiger last year. They were charm and soft. What they about Green Bay or Chicago? No. Chicago gives me a little more fear. Why? Because okay. if their offense gets it together, that's trouble. I don't trust their line, though. Even I don't they, either. Even though they they've addressed added pieces. It. They've added they pieces. They added pieces, yes. Justin Fields, another year more mature. Jordan Love, their quarterback at Green Bay. Are you kidding? Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. That didn't impress yeah, me much. Yep. You can call me Shania Twain because that don't impress me much. Green Bay? Nah, they don't impress me much. Hey, I thought Green Bay had a nice What do you draft, think though? about... I didn't know you liked Shania Twain. I do. Good. What do you think about the Lions opening up the NFL season in Kansas City under the bright lights, banner being hung, you know, the big stage? That's got shootout written all over it. Okay. Okay. I expect it to be almost similar to that of the Chiefs Rams game a couple of years ago when Jared Goff, when Jared Goff had won. A, who Jared Goff had a crazy game that day. And he won the game. And I think I think in that game Mahomes throws for seven touchdowns. Oh my And God. I think This that, is not the twenty oh eight Lions. And okay? I think Jared Goff seven throws, touchdowns. I think Jared Goff throws for four touchdowns and rushes for two. And that game's gonna be a sixty three fifty six game. Are they playing Seven on seven on full field or what? Nope, because Lions defense is still in rough shape. I disagree. Why? Because they closed out the year pretty good and they've they added have pieces. A, they have a couple guys in the second year on one-year contracts. What does that matter? That matters a lot. That don't matter. It do matter. It, ma- it might be good. They have to prove themselves. What do you mean they got to prove themselves? Well, they, they don't have, have a Patrick guaranteed Mahomes, contract. They have Patrick Mahomes who's going to burn the Lions secondary and then the KC doesn't have a running game. Right. I feel like this so is this is uh, three their last three brain cells right now between the two of you. This is a glimpse of last three brain cells. All right, and what do you think about that game? Doesn't that show that at least the NFL has some They're respect for the Lions now? They actually some respect. That's actually a good thing. That is crazy. Is mm-hmm. that not crazy? Yes, that is crazy right now. What does that ever happen in our life? Never. They could win the NFC North this year, the Lions. They should, they should. win the NFC North, so North this year. So the days of paper bags are gone. For now, for now. Yeah. if they come out and they go one and six again, though, you paper bags might return. That'd be big that'd trouble. Be big trouble. Big so, trouble. All right. So, any final thoughts about the Tigers and the Lions? Both of them are kitty cats. Yeah. Come this fall, we're gonna have meaningful games at Comerica and Ford Field, and it's gonna be exciting. We're gonna have meaningful. And you're games. not coming. <laughs> you can watch Kansas City and Bobby Witt Jr. try to win 50 games. Get out of here. <laughs> you're gonna. Hey. Get out of here. Go hey, back to Texas. Are, Huh? Yeah, go back to Texas. Hey, Texas is a good team, and you just watch. I'm in the Western Conference Final, and you're not. And? Okay, I guess I'll close that out. So, all right, that'll do it for Between Terminos right. here on ONTV. You guys yeah, take care. Kick and I'll try to return them both. <laughs> Bye, everybody. No, 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 no,